Okay, so this time let's actually block out a little bit more about what our scene, what our level is going to look like. So the first thing I want to do is I have this, I just made a quickly set like a basic interior of a pyramid that we're going to drive through, uh, exposed it as an FBX. You can tell it's not brilliant in the moment, but it's just sort of as a, an idea that I want to mess with and try out. So I set that to my desktop and we can just pretty much keep all these as normal. You can combine meshes if you need to, um, but I'm just going to leave those as is. And I'm going to drop it in place. It's probably going to be teeny tiny. It is teeny tiny. Did I put that in my level? There we go. Pyramid placeholder. Um, I'm going to need to scale that up. I'm going to need to scale that up a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> um, let's try 400. Okay. 400 seems a bit better. So I'm just going to rotate it, sort of stick it in about here ish. And I will need to edit my road. So I'm just going to quickly edit my road. I might actually end up getting rid of a few of these spline points and remap out the area just a touch like i said i don't want to spend too long on this Oof, come on computer okay that's looking all right ish Give it a take. Um, okay, let's tweak you. Move you sort of over here and there. Underneath the... Ah, oh, that's laggy. All right, and let's uh, go ahead and stick a ramp there. Oh, slow. Okay, that'll do. Let's move you into place. Just sort of put you, I guess, here for now. So I've been quite rough with this. Um, let's actually think I need to make this a bit bigger, even still. Let's go like 450. Because it's not going to leave so much pathway for the cars to drive through, is it? Okay, for 50, that'll do. Um, let's make sure we've got complex collision on. We might not need complex collision, you can test it. Um, I'm just going to make the assumption. Use complex collision. Probably will need another road. Let's quickly grab a road for when we come out. What scale is this? Why is it 28? Uh, we'll scale it 2.5. So 2.5 and it's on a height of 28. Just so I can avoid my road. Ah, that's a mesh. That's not the blueprint. So is it 2.5, a height of 28. And then uh, let's put it in place, finish off this track. Maybe I should sort of fast forward this part in the edit. Pew, pew. Cool. That'll do. Let's Let's just accept that real quick, so I don't want to spend ages here. Um, and let's test it with our car, just make sure it works. Woo! In 
interior done. Ooh, that corner's a bit messy. I'll clean that up later. Not gonna worry too much about that for now. Hey, llamas. Um, cool, what about the opposite way? So that I just sort of didn't really work to scale, but let's say we want a couple of pillars around here. Let's quickly look at how we could change the workflow and go a little bit different way. I'm just gonna go to um, brush editing and sorry let's go to grab grab geometry and let's let's say we want a pillar about here like that and then we've got that pillar so let's take the face of it and extrude it up so we've got a couple of options here and that's cool so maybe we've got a couple of pills like that, and maybe we want to sort of block out like where this is going. Um, okay, let's do something the cool tool. Let's go to the edit and maybe give you a bit more of an angle, like over here, and again, extrude out so that's fine. Just sort of giving this a test. You, you can sort of tweak and spend a lot more sort of time with this. I just wanted to quickly sort of show you the workflow of it. Um, and then again, we'll extrude it. And this time we'll put a pillar up there. And then we'll extrude down here, across here. So like maybe we're making like, say, this sort of like... Um, oi, it's like this face. Is that select in the right face? No. Select the face. Why won't you select this face? There we go. Let's extrude up. Let's go to full view so we can make sure it's like on the same height as the rest of them. Okay, we can't see because the mountain's in the way. But that's fine. We'll just eyeball it. So anyway, you know, let's say you've sort of got a, a bit of a structure like this and you sort of wanted to measure it into sort of scale with the world. So once we've got this, um, we could then, like I say, we're blocking out sort of the world, getting a bit of an idea about where we're going to place geometry, what we want to actually do with the geometry and things of that nature. So I'm just going to select the box brush up here and I'm actually going to see... Um, if I right click the box brush, I'm going to go to a no visibility merge. Is it merge? I don't think it is merge. Attach to, how do we export this? Oh, I think we just go to file export selected. Um, and hopefully I should just get my box brush. So let's give this a test. I'm just going to save it to the, the thing, the desktop, with that called Desert map, and let's quickly go back into Maya. Uh, we don't need to save you because that pyramid wasn't particularly very impressive. Let's import off my desktop. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, the scale's a bit massive and whatnot, but now we've got this um, this piece. We can actually use this to sort of model and get like really nice pillars and create nice pillars and sort of bring it back and we know that way um yeah we know that way it's going to work nicely and it'll be to scale and we get the right sort of geometry that would match our path and then we can make it export it again and bring it back in so i just wanted to also show you that workflow for about like if we want to start create like cool sort of maps that we knew we were going to fit and once we've got that block out we can work with that okie doke